Hello teachers, parents, and kids. Welcome to Wonder Kids Academy. Today we're going on a tiny adventure to learn about two incredible groups of creatures, insects, and spiders. These little animals might seem small, but they're super important to our ecology and full of interesting facts. By the end of our journey, you'll know how to tell them apart and why each one is amazing. Let's get started. What is an insect? Insects are animals that have three main parts to their bodies, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They have six legs. Most insects also have two antennae on their heads. Antennae help them feel, smell, and sometimes even taste the world around them. These are examples of insects. Number one, butterflies. These beauties start as caterpillars, then become a chrysalis and finally burst into colorful wings. Number two, beetles. They can be shiny, spotted, or even glow in the dark. Number three, ladybugs. With their red bodies and black spots, they help gardeners by eating tiny pests. Number four, ants. Working together in big groups, ants build tunnels underground and carry food that's many times heavier than they are. What is a spider? Spiders belong to a different group called arachnids. Unlike insects, spiders have the main body parts, a cephalothorax, and an abdomen. They have eight legs, four on each side, and no antennae. Instead, they use special hairs on their legs to feel what's happening around them. These are examples of spiders. Number one, garden spiders. They spin big, round webs between plants to catch yummy bugs. Number two, jumping spiders. These little explorers have big, curious eyes and can jump to catch their prey. Number three, daddy long legs. Also called harvestmen, these creatures have really long, wiggly legs and a round body. Number four, wolf spiders. They don't build webs. They chase their food on the ground just like wolves hunt in the wild. Insect versus spider. Let's compare their body parts. Body parts of insects. Insects have three parts. Head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, three pairs. Usually have wings, but not always. Two antennae on their heads. Body parts of spiders. Spiders have two parts. Cephalothorax, abdomen, eight legs for pears, no wings, no antennae. How do they eat? Some insects chew leaves or flowers, like caterpillars munching on a leaf. Others, like butterflies, use a long tube, called a proboscis, to sip nectar from flowers, just like you use a straw to drink juice. Most spiders are hunters or web builders. A web-spinning spider will wait patiently for an insect to get stuck in its silky trap. Then the spider carefully wraps its snack and drinks the juice inside. Spiders can't chew like we do. They liquefy their prey before slurping them up. Insects' homes. Ants build tunnels underground and live in big colonies. Bees make their hives out of wax high in trees. Beetles often hide under rocks, leaves, or tree bark. Spiders' homes. Web spiders weave delicate silk webs between branches, corners of houses, or between tall grasses. Burrowing spiders dig small holes in the ground and cover them with a lid made of leaves or dirt. Some spiders, like jumping spiders, don't build homes. They hop around looking for food. Why are they important? They help plants grow by carrying pollen from one flower to another. Pollination. Bees and butterflies are special insect friends to flowers. Insects also become food for birds and other animals, keeping the circle of life going. They help control insect populations. If there were no spiders, many bugs would eat all our plants and crops. So spiders are like tiny gardeners, keeping everything balanced. Some people feel scared when they see spiders or insects but most are gentle and helpful. If you find a spider or insect in your house or garden, remember, they're just looking for food, water, or shelter. You can gently guide them back outside where they belong. Please take a second to like our video if you have not done so yet. 
This helps our algorithm so that other boys and girls can see our videos and learn these fun things that you are learning too. Insect Hunt Grab a magnifying glass and look under leaves, rocks, or logs. Can you find an ant trail? A grasshopper hopping by? Spider web art. Use white yarn and tape to create a spider web on dark paper. Draw or cut out a spider and place it on your web. Now you know how to tell insects and spiders apart. Insects have six legs, three body parts, and often have wings. Spiders have eight legs, two body parts, and spin silk webs. Both are super helpful in nature, pollinating flowers, eating pests, and keeping gardens healthy. Thank you for watching this Wonder Kids Academy video, and I hope you all have a happy and healthy day. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more fun and educational videos designed especially for preschoolers and young kids like you. And see you in our next video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more interesting videos like this. Please also visit us at www.wonderkidsacademy.info and see more of what we are all about. Thanks again.